Hello everyone, good day. For this video, we shall have Homeroom Guidance Module 14. But first, don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Once again, our video is on Homeroom Guidance Quarter 4 Module 14. Entitled, Our Earth. My Life. In this module we have several learning objectives. After going through this module, you are expected to 1. Analyze ways on how to become aware of environmental issues using one's academic skills. 2. Identify basic activities to help preserve the environment. And 3. Implement a doable project or plan to help address environmental concerns. Introduction. This module will serve as a supplementary contribution to the various efforts in minimizing environmental problems. Great part of your education is developing academic skills for personal growth as well as its application to caring for the environment and being able to respond to community development particularly on environmental issues. As a responsible Filipino learner and caring steward of our environment, your voluntary participation in joining varied school and community programs to promote awareness on how to combat the negative effects of abuse in the environment will give tremendous impact. Your initiative in extending help for the welfare of the community is meant to have positive results towards achieving a safe and healthy environment. Ultimate attainment for a sustainable and desirable environment may take time but with constant efforts. It will surely come. At this time of COVID-19 pandemic, you will have more time at home that can be productively used to care for the environment while learning and helping at home. Let's try this. Have you ever dreamed of spending time in a clean and beautiful environment? This COVID-19 pandemic has forced everyone to stay at home for safety. How are you experiencing it right now? This activity will be your chance to contribute simple change in the surroundings where you live. 1. Look around your house and choose one spot. It could be your garden, at the back or front of your house. Or maybe if you have another desired spot that you wish to improve. 2. Get a clean sheet of paper and fold it into two. On the left side, draw or make a sketch of your chosen spot or place in your house. On the right side, draw or illustrate or sketch what you dream or plan to happen or become of that place. 3. Your drawing or illustration will be your masterpiece of transforming your desired spot into a garden of flowers, vegetable garden, or a combination of both. You are encouraged to use reusable or recyclable and indigenous materials that you learned or you get to know in your previous grades or lessons you had from other subjects. You can also use acquired information from other sources to make sure you will only use materials that would help lessen waste materials. 4. You can ask the help of your parents for the seedlings or flowering plants. 5. Be creative and imaginative while working on the accomplishment of your plan. 6. Keep your work with you for reference later. The pictures that follow can be an example. Let's explore this. Being a 10th grade learner, how can you basically contribute to protecting the environment? With the COVID-19 pandemic, your contribution may be limited but still you can do something to help. Caring for the environment was integrated in almost all your subjects. To help you summarize it, make a list of the ways on how you can help preserve our environment. There are three columns in the table you need to do. The first column is the environmental area of concern then the basic or simple contribution, and lastly, the possible effects. Here are the processing questions. 1. How do you feel while doing the activity? 2. Do you have any realizations on the way you treat the environment? 3. What can you say about the natural calamities happening in any part of the world? Keep in mind, lecture or discussion, whatever you do, comes back to you. What you sow is what you reap. What goes up must come down or beliefs or theories that you learned in school. Newton's third law of motion states that, in every action there is an equal and opposite reaction, which is an academic knowledge you are very familiar with. Fortunately, this law applies to our environment which you must be fully aware of. At present, there are environmental problems ranging from air, water, and soil that cause damage in our forest and oceans. Earth's temperature is said to have suffered humans' incapability to take care of the environment. The different environmental concerns that must be addressed. Genetic modification of crops. Man-made chemicals are causing damage to other living organisms. Butterflies and other insects are dying due to these chemicals used in crops. Waste production. Production of too much waste. 
and not having proper way of disposing it ends up in landfills, which generates an enormous amount of methane. This kind of gas potentially contributes to global warming. Water pollution. The need for fresh water is crucial to any kind of life on Earth. However, more natural sources of fresh water are being polluted through human activities. Polluted water may also harm and contaminate the water we drink. Deforestation. Our forests are the lungs of the earth. Removing more trees will deplete the oxygen being produced. With the continued loss of trees in the forest, can you imagine what will happen to all the living things on the planet? Air pollution. Humans and animals are dependent on air to live. Having polluted air exposes all living things to the risk of developing numerous health problems. You can do it. Entitled. My plan. My action. Now is the chance for you to make your plan a reality. Follow the instructions below. 1. Get the drawing you made in the previous activity. 2. Gather the materials you need. You can also add some materials that you want to further improve your output. 3. You can accept any help from your parents or siblings. However, you have to make sure that much of the effort comes from you. 4. At the end of the school year, you must take a picture of your output for submission to your advisor as one of the quarterly outputs that will be required from you. 5. To be more challenging, show your project output to your advisor during his or her home visitation. What I have learned, taking note of every learnings you have is a good practice. In your homeroom guidance notebook, write your reflections on the activities conducted. After going through all the activities, I realized that blank. And last but not the least, share your thoughts and feelings. The stewardship of this planet belongs to humankind. Our earth is for us and to us. Every little action that we do to our environment will come back to us. Good or bad, make a slogan, quotation, campaign poster or poem of your own to promote caring for the environment. If you have an FB account, you can post it on your timeline as part of advocacy or campaign awareness for our environment. That's all. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. God bless you, and have a good day.